bit of a technical problem getting to this yeah. story. Just saying, no, but we got it now. And we want to get to this story because it's important about parents who work second and third shift who are trying to find child care. Yeah, 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown has an update on the effort. Finding safe and affordable child care at any time, and especially during extended working hours, can be challenging for many parents. When they talk and listen to their imaginations and watch them play. And Berlene they Aker, owner of Crayons to Computers Child Care Center, at one time offered second shift child care. We stopped because DSS rules we have to have two staff members on the premises at all times. So you've got to have at least 10 kids to make it financially feasible, and it just didn't have it to support it. But a recent study done by the United Way of the Piedmont shows that the need for care is there. So there's a lot of opportunities for families to work second and third shift, but there's not a lot of opportunities for quality, um, affordable child care. Heather Witt is vice president of Community Impact with the United Way of the Piedmont and says the Spartanburg Child Care Needs Assessment shows that 79 percent of unemployed parents said that a lack of second shift and evening child care keeps them from being employed. The study shows in addition to that that there are other contributing factors that affect one's employment status. For providers, cost affects what they can offer. Providing child care services after normal business hours stretch the budget. Once you get into care after 1 o'clock in the morning, midnight, 1 o'clock, it falls into a whole different set of regulations. It was just too much for our type of setting. While longer daycare hours would be helpful for many, groups like the United Way of the Piedmont are looking for ways to help those who want to work but just can't afford it. Kimberly Brown, 7 News. The owner of Crayon 2 Computers says that she is willing to provide second shift childcare again if there's a need near the Gaffney area.